Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So in the last episode we set up a much, I think, smarter automation of the um, uh, processing of the, all these synthesizers and de decomposers. Makes it an extensible type of operation. So I want to carry on with that today and I would like to have a look at rubber because rubber is a pain. So let's have a look at that. One thing we do know is actually, if I come across in here, I probably should have a sleep, shouldn't I? If I come across in here and look at this, what we are is we're this is Mars Cobblestone, and as you see here we get every once in a while a butane or an isopropene. I think of the two we get. So if we go back into the um, system over here, we should be able to see these increasing as over time. So that was butane. Yeah, there we go, 11, th it doesn't tell me very much. And the other one was this isoprene. So the isoprene and the butane are used for making rubber. So that's I think, is a pretty nice way of getting these two. So let's go downstairs and change this automation over here because it's a mess. It's not really a mess. It was just the first, the initial, the initial development of this bit. This is to make rubber. We've got plenty of actual rubber in here, but we need stacks. It's not as though we need a little bit. So what I'm going to do is remove the books out of here and remove the, the two materials from that. That actually becomes the one we actually want, isn't it? So let's just remove this like that. This is a chemical synthesizer. I'm going to use the right tool pickaxe like that. And we can put this over here with the other machines. And I think this is probably the nicest solution anyway. And what you can see here, what I've done here is I've put a whole load of storage drawers on here, uh, storage drawers, caches on here. In fact, it wouldn't be a bad idea to, to move some of the stuff out of the other caches as well. So what we're going to do is we'll put down these machines like this. So it's just two across. Give it a space of one between the two machines. It makes it a bit nicer. And we'll put this synthesizer here like that. And on the top of the synthesizer, we're going to put another ME storage, ME interface. Now you'll see actually here I've got two sets of ME interfaces and they're not stacking. Don't ask me why. But the solution for this is if I put them, just put them down or anywhere like that and then pick them up again, they stack. So that, all that's saying is these are being put down. Don't ask me, don't get it. Probably some ND, ND, MBT data that isn't set up correctly. So I can put this one in here like that. And of course we could bring it across the, the, the pipe, which is it's actually quite difficult to see from there which one I need to connect to. Let's just do it like that. So all we now need is the recipe. So let's go upstairs and set up the recipe. I think I need some more um, patterns as well for that matter. So let's select patterns in here. Oops, don't want those patterns. Let's craft another five of those probably haven't got enough yes what I thought we haven't got enough glowstone and we actually haven't got enough glass okay so let's make some glass first of all we've got some sand in here yeah we've got 34 that's plenty of glass there uh, plenty of sand let's go and put the sand through the machine in fact I've actually got plenty of sand it'll be in this chest here so redstone furnace Put the sand in there we should get some glass yeah i've got plenty of glass now that's no big deal and the other one was phosphorus wasn't it we need for um some aluminium and i think i've got some phosphorus in the system anyway i need to automate the redstone furnace as well but that's uh, one of those which is slightly awkward well actually it's just the same as the synthesizers story uh any interface in the store um, and an import bus combination. So what do I need in here? We need to do the um my brain's gone a bit dead. I want to do um patterns and I needed um some phosphorus. So I've got a thousand and twenty four phosphorus, so let's go and make a stack of glowstone. That's actually come from the storage from the cache below. So all we need to do is just one, in, I think it's just one in the top right corner, good. So we can then take 64, close down. 
out of the system like that. So we can now put that glowstone in here and we should also then be able to make our 10 patterns or 6 5 patterns. Let's do 5. Start that. And we should get those patterns fairly quickly because it's just a crafting recipe I think. No processes involved, process recipes tend to take longer. So that was steel. So now we want um, a recipe for this synthesized rubber. So I'm not exactly sure what it was, to be honest with you. This is this one. The polyisobutylene rubber. Wow, it's a mouthful, isn't it? And I think it's 15 butane and 1 isoprene. Let me double check it. Let's go and put this book into the um, microscope. Oh, doesn't show me. So look. Take it out of here. Open up the. I suppose I've just opened up the recipe. Yes, it's what sixteen to one. Okay, sixteen to one. So that's no big deal. Put the other book back. Yes, that's fine. That's actually activated. It wasn't activated before for some reason. Maybe I didn't select it when I did it originally, or maybe when I took it out of the machine, it lost its its rubber. So that, sorry, that was sixteen of these. So. We've got eight here. Let's put another eight. Oh, it's not adding up like that. It's 15, 16 plus one isoprene makes one. Ah, and I didn't go and get it from the chest below, did we? Well, me personally. We need to take these out. In fact, what I'm going to do is to set up another synthesizer beside this. Because to be honest with you, it doesn't make any sense just making one of those components because I've got to go and put it through manually through the other machine. So let's. Oh, where am I? Here. Okay. So that'll make one of those. So let's take that recipe out of there. And the other recipe is we haven't got any. Have we got any rubber balls in here? Yeah, 222. Fantastic. So one of these. We'll make one of this so we have our two recipes now so let's go downstairs and fix that into those machines i just basically need to extend this one more synthesizers got plenty of i think i've got plenty of everything that we actually do need if not we have to make some more simple as that so let's turn this across here two more And put the second or oh, this synthesizer in place. And I need a, I need another chemist journal, of course, because I forgot to do that as well. And then we need an IMI interface on top of that, like that. And then we want the, the cable at the back coming across. Very easy. So now, using these block these blocky ones, of course, is good because it saves you a cable. Now. Um, what do I want to do? I need to connect this up, so I need the recipe. So I can put this recipe in here. So that'll make this one, and we can put this recipe for the ball in here, like that. So now all we need is some import buses on here. Let's put the import buses down the side here. We've got four. So that'll do. So what else do we need to do? Everything's connected at the back here. I think that's basically all we actually need. Oh, I've forgotten anything. I can't think of what I've forgotten at the moment, but it's... So now let's see if we've got any rubber in the system. We've got this 222. Let's craft 10 of these. Yep, and we've got 10, of, 10 isoprene and 160 butane. We can start that. And then we should have 10 of these, I think. Is anything going to be wrong with this recipe? I've got a feeling I'd... Oh, yes, of course. I need two chemist journals, don't I? OK. 
a book and a piece of glass. Like a chemist journal, which we need to set up the recipe for. So we need some, let's come back here, we need some rubber. Like that. So all we need to do now, of course, is put these in the microscope. Take the existing book out. So the one that's empty is this one, because you can see this one says owner. This one doesn't have anything. So let's put the rubber in there like that. And then we have the recipe for that in this one. Let's move this one out of the way and push this back again. Take the rubber ball out and then we can come over here and then set up the recipe here. So now it's now activated the recipe. And we can see it's activated when I and I look on it here, see? Rubber and that one. Uh, which is quite a mouthful. So in here, what I forgot to do is I've got all the materials, which is great. And here I've got the polyisobutanol rubber. <laughs> what a mouthful this up. So that should just then start to work like that, which it is doing nicely. I'm producing for us rubber, and we can do the same here, this one. The rubber balls come into there like that. So that's now finished. So we sh that crafting task should have gone off. We can check the crafting task from here, of course. What I haven't produced yet is crafting status. Nothing on that one. And there should be nothing on this one as well. Those are the two CPUs. You can look at it. It doesn't matter whether you look which one you look at. It'll tell you the recipe. So, so now if we come over here and look for rubber again, we've now got our 10. So let's come along here and make 20 of these, get rid of that there. So everything's there. So let's craft 20. So this time it's saying we've got 10 already available to make those 10. And we've got the 160 and the 10 to make the second 10. Start that. We can go downstairs and we should have seen everything working correctly as we expect it to. Yes, you can see this machine's moving. It's crafting those, and this one is crafting. As it's already finished, that's good. And this is slowly crafting these. It run out of power, that's the biggest problem, because the power coming into that isn't actually enough. It's five million, isn't it, per, per rubber ball, which is a lot. And this one, I don't think is a thousand okay so that's no big deal that will go through very fast so now we can put these back into the system and i'll just check the crafting recipe probably finish now one to go okay good and what we can do is to put these in the fast way whether i bring this chest nearer to where i'm working i don't know we can also put these in and these into the system as well and in fact, everything I put in there should go downstairs. I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll double check that. So that's, oh, butane's going to be coming in anyway. Oh. <laughs> that's funny. Actually, I haven't got a cash for butane, have I? So that's just going to go into the system. If I didn't have a cash, it would go into there. in there like that so that is now automated so let's double check our, our rubber it's a, it's a bit difficult to say because i'd already got quite a few of these already made up next one is this cobblestone so actually it's not finished this is it if i'm looking over this one here we could actually take these two here and automate these because basically this is just to produce isoprene whatever it is yeah isoprene and this one is to produce butane so we take these two books out of here and we could add that to the to the processing plant um i'm not sure that i would like to do that but the rest of this we can basically disassemble we don't need any of this anymore what have we got in here nitrate and carbon okay let's pick these up and I'm going to knock all of this stuff down in here because we basically don't need any any more because the way we're doing it is much neater. But I won't do that on camera, I'll do that off camera. 
see that's just a decomposer that was decomposing there and it actually makes the whole process a, a lot lot neater the next one is this one this is a mess too it's a mess for two reasons basically cobblestone is not being made here for whatever reason it's not working so let's take the book out of here so what we can do of course is do the same thing I'm just wondering how I want to arrange this I think it would be nice to arrange a second row of these machines but this is slightly special because I've got this this auto compressor But I don't need the auto compressor as such, do I? I could compress all everything within the AE2 system. Hmm. Sounds like I've got to think about that. Anyway, what we've got here is we've got this is producing for us. We've got 820 obsidian. Now this obsidian we should put into the system. Now how am I going to wire this up? Basically, the cable comes down here, and I could bring it straight across to these. Or we could simply pipe the obsidian down through here. And then this, these are basically, all the only idea of these is to break the obsidian up. So that breaks it to silicon dioxide, that breaks it to silicon and oxygen, and this one synthesizes it to cobblestone. Those are the three machines. Well, what we could do is we could import these two. Just, I think we'll do that. Yes, that seems like a good idea. Because here we've got silicon and oxygen. And we should also be getting magnesium. No, that comes out of here, doesn't it? Right, OK. Magnesium dioxide. Magnesium oxide. So what we can do with this is to basically break everything let's do that oh this destruction's great huh? double check I haven't got the book in there because if I have it breaks everything and remove this and my pickaxe is just broken but fortunately we can take a piece of obsidian out of here and repair it Maybe not actually because I've got no capacity on me. Let's just go down here and put some of this stuff away. Let's just put these caches down. That should be work quite nicely. Oops. Well, I just put down oxygen. Where are the empty tubes gone to? Okay, they can come over here and float over here with me. And then we can put those away as well. What have I got here? So I've got an empty chest here, haven't I? I think I created oh I didn't take the stuff out of that. Actually never mind, we'll do that next. Get rid of the tin. Here's the here's the eight empty ones. What else have I got floating on oxygen? I think there's something else floating there, but that should get picked up. Oh they're probably empty bottles, huh? <laughs> that looks so funny when you see it like this. Are they doing those bottle those tubes? Let's just try putting these away. I've got space I don't see why they're floating around. Unless of course it's a visual thing. Just walk around a bit. Maybe that maybe that if I go over here they might get picked up by this. No. Right, I don't know. <laughs> Never mind. We shall sort that out in a minute. So basically we've got here. Uh, I want the power, but that's basically it. So this is a decomposer. So stuff comes on the sides on this one. 
so we can take the items out of here and bring that into the system I think I would like to get rid of this this looks a bit messy put the items down that we've got down here um, I need that chest I'll turn another chest here let's put that into slot 3 and put another chest down here like that and we can get rid of actually let's do all the books and the filters ok good and then we can put the two have we got those not yet I'm reluctant to break that to be honest with you so let's just so we'll break the cable because we can take that down below here as well at least now it makes it easier to get over and let's break away these oh yes that's where the cobblestone needs to go back in again Let's put away the mist, but I'm not too bad. We've got 64 oxygen. Okay, good. So now, what I've got to do with this lot is to basically import the items out of here. So we've got silicon and oxygen. So all we need basically is an import bus. So we should have one or two left. Import bus is good. So let's put the import bus on the side of this. It doesn't matter where we put it. And also the same is going to be true for this one. Uh, I would like to... These are decomposers, aren't they? Uh, it doesn't need to be at the bottom of this. Let's remove that. There's no reason for this to actually not be on the side of it. Well, it's got the filter. Go like that. So what we can now do, I want basically it's this cable that's bothering me as usual cables. I'd like to bring these cables underneath if it's possible. Like that. So we don't have to keep getting them in the way uh, in our face, so to speak. So what I need to do now is to bring this lot over here wondering how to do it let's just take it over here like this it's not possible that these floaty tubes are actually outside the building anyway it doesn't matter right? whatever's in them can't be that important so let's put take remove this import bus here Come along here, what have we got in here? Silicon. Let's take some silicon out of that. The reason I'm doing that is because I know now, if I remove this here, we've got oxygen up here, haven't we? In one of our storage units. So if I remove this pulverized silver from here, we shouldn't have got in, to be honest with you, cause, because I had locked it up. I hadn't locked it up. Oh, I thought I'd locked it up. And what I'd like to put into that would be the need an empty hand silicon let me just remove the storage bus and it won't get anything nothing will go in that's probably the best way and then remove this put that back into this I have to unlock it put the silicon in there and then lock it again put some oxygen And then we can put the storage bus on. I think that's probably the easiest way to deal with these. Like that. So therefore, any sort any silicon in the system will go in there. I'm just wondering if these things are floating around. They're empty jars. Are they floating outside or something like that? Well, it's coming up to morning. Very strange. There might even be one block underneath, but I can't go and see that so easily. Never mind. They just have to bother me for a bit uh, until I finish doing this. 
And of course, we've got the same for this one. Okay, let's remove this cache here. And we can then basically put an export bus onto that one as well. So let's do that. Ah, oh, this is broken, isn't it? I needed one piece of obsidian to mend it. I forgot to do that. Never mind. It's very fast. Just put the just put the pickaxe on one. Put the pickaxe in here with its obsidian, and then it should be repaired again. So, right, where are we? Cobblestone. That's rubber. So what I want to do now is put down two more of these. Let's just do the cobblestone one first, and synthesizing it. And then we can put on top of this an ME interface. And connect that up here like this. And then we can put an input bus at the bottom of that, which we won't do to start with as, as normal, because we want to see what's going to happen to that. No recipe in there at the moment, but the recipe that should I should have the book with me. Ah, oh, maybe I'll put the book at the other place. In the chest of my inventory being full. So what I want to do now is to run this cable across here, don't I? I don't think I can break this one with a... No. Shame. So what I'm going to do, let me just have a look at this. I think we'll do it at the front here. And I think I've got enough cables, so we'll just connect everything up like this. fact it might be better not to do it down let's go one and then bring it across like this so we can get underneath it without it uh, without it connecting up to me so let's just you know what I mean yep I think that's good I'll be using one more pipe piece of pipe than I need but I don't think it matters too much if I remove this middle one here, I can do the same again. This is where you use the extra piece of pipe. Now, of course, what we need to also do is to bring into that cobblestone to, to keep this stuff in going. Oh, how did you get there? And also, why are you not filling these things out? Most peculiar. Let's put a stack upgrade in that. Ah, because it's got compressed cobblestone in there. That was why. Okay. That looks better. Okay, so now we should be getting obsidian being made again. 819. I reckon that's going to be starting to make lava again. 46, yes it is. I hadn't realised that it actually happened, and I'm not really sure how it happened. Ah, probably because I was messing around, connected something up badly to that. So, right. Carry on with this. Now, we've got two choices here, haven't I? I might decompose it directly. Or I might put the... I might import into here, from here, the two materials. I think we'll do it that way. So we're going to import those. So we need the other one is magnesium oxide. And I think that's prepared already. So let's put down the import bus here. So then this should start to empty. It is slowly. And then we can get rid of this one over here. We don't care about this either. We should get... Oh, that was just a connection to make sure I've got some obsidian. But the obsidian again is the same thing, isn't it? So maybe I do or do not need the obsidian, which is a piece of pipe. Where's it gone to? There. For the time being, we'll just leave it connected up. <laughs> Shift. Right. So that's good. So into here now, of course, we need to import. So we do need an import bus. 
an export bus. So let's get the export bus out of here. Import bus, export bus. So I connect an export bus onto that and then put the cable back onto here like this. And of course we have to tell it what we're exporting into here for this to work. So basically we're exporting obsidian aren't we? And silicon dioxide. Yeah, we're exporting silicon dioxide into here. And that will then produce silicon and oxygen. Great. In fact, that was 59, wasn't it? Let's just double check that's working. That's silicon dioxide, 62. So it is working. That's coming out, going out of here, basically going through the system and coming into here. So now what we need is the other import bus. Like that. And then the items will start to come out of here again. I can speed them up and probably will do. But we'll do that probably next in the next episode. So what we then do here is we can then... Oh, I've got an ME interface on here, haven't I? Maybe I don't want to do an ME interface on here. Maybe I want to have it as a process that's running all the time. For that, we would need to put in an export bus. I think. Just having a quick think do we need an export bus yes we probably do need an export bus okay let's do that now an export bus is this one and then it needs to the only problem I might have here is I might need to do the complicated bit like that so we need to say what we're exporting so first of all it needs a capacity card in here so let's put a capacity card in because we need more than one item. We need silicon and oxygen in there. Oops, wrong place. Try it like that. So we need silicon and we need oxygen coming in here. I haven't got that. Magnesium oxide I have got in here. And silicon we've got anyway. So we don't need to worry about that. It goes into this interface here or it comes into here. If I could put it in here, we'd put it in here. Actually, we can do that, can't we? We can take this one out of here. This one out of here. And then we can put those away because we've got a space for those. Right, good. So that is coming out of... So that's being exported from it. So we'd basically need one oxygen and one silicon for those to go into the system over here. So we need basically that to come in here. Now these should actually be filling up. But look in here, I should be getting items coming in here. Let's just check the priorities high, other than the standard one. I probably haven't set the priority on these actually. Probably move, I think I moved everything around a bit and forgot to set the priorities. So that should start to increase anyway. And so with the same for oxygen, let's make sure that's got a high priority on it. And also for the hydrogen, of course. Actually, that's already done. Oh yeah, that's going up nicely now. That one isn't yet going up. The silicon isn't, and that's tin. Good. Right, so now we can put into the silicon and oxygen as two items. What I don't 100% know is, is it going to round robin this? We can't basically say, I only want one stack of those into that like that. And then the book, we need to go and get the book. In fact, let's put the magnesium oxide away. I think it's that one. Yeah. The book should be in here. Oh, yes, it's all the books. Cobblestone's the one we want. These are basically uh, butane. Yep. That was for making uh, slimes. I should probably try to do that as an automation as well. So here we are. So now this is what I'm a bit worried about. It needs to alternate between these two blocks. And it's, what it might be doing is it might just fill this in with um, silicon. 
so we probably don't get any op op cobblestone being produced so let's make sure that we do get cobblestone if we do get a cobblestone being produced that it comes out so we need an import bus have I got one left no I haven't got one left yet I don't see export and that one okay I will leave that for now because those are all storage buses so I'll leave that for now we'll, let's see how that gets on I'll put I'll make another import bus and I will put the import bus onto that uh, channel to take these cobblestone out and then we will set up next time the compressed cobblestone using uh, a2 to bring the stuff in so until next time bye for now